So, now we will take system of units. In this topic system of units, first we take see in mechanics we use generally length, mass and time. So, first I am taking here the length, then the mass and then here time. Now, see if you are measuring length in centimeter that is cm I am writing, mass is you are measuring in grams, time you are measuring in second. This system is known as CGS system, this we call as CGS system. If you are measuring this length is in foot, mass is in pound and time is in second, this is known as FPS system. Now, if you are taking measuring length is in meters, mass is in kg and time is in second this is called MKS system. So, there are three systems of measurements, first one is the CGS where the length is measured in centimeter, mass is in grams, time is in seconds, another one is FPS, foot, pound and second, third one is MKS system where we measure mass, length is in meter, mass is in kg, time is in second. There is one more system that is called SI system. See, SI system is that is actually international system of units here, international system of the measurements. Here you take certain things like uh, if you have taken work, you know you write work is equal to force into distance that can be written 1 Newton into meter and this is equal to 1 joule. So, unit of work is 1 joule unit of energy is also measured that is in joule. So, in SI system all type of energies are measured in joules and actually it is the modified form of the MKS system. Like if you are measuring a speed, a speed's MKS unit is uh, meter per second. So, it is SI unit is also can set to be meter per second. If you are measuring current current can be measured I is equal to Q upon T that is cool, 1 coulomb upon 1 second that is equal to 1 ampere, ampere is here S I unit. So, these are the different system of the units which we have to use. See by using this S I system there are many advantages like this S I system is a coherent system, it is a rational one, it means any one quantity can be given particular name and which is fixed in all the cases and another one is here it is a metric system where the units can be measured where the numbers can be measured in the power of or in the multiples of the 10. So, that is a metric system. So, there are advantages of SI system. 